Welcome, everybody. I am super, super hyped to get into these Gigalith buffs. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to have a quick, quick little disclaimer to check out the description below if you are new here and you have yet to do so. Um, most of the, the reason that is important is because every single move is buffed or changed in this ROM hack, and you can check those all out laid out super nice for your viewing convenience in the description below and you can also check out all the other pokemon so far but most importantly you have that move sheet here on the bottom tab you can see it right there but with that being said we got gigalith and boldor um they are now pseudo legendary uh this is i believe not an original idea uh but it doesn't make it any less cool it's really fucking sick uh there are tons of new pseudos in this rom hack uh so far there is magnezone kingdra exploud agron dusknar and gigalith is the sixth new pseudo legendary there are also two stage pseudos like steelix gyarados wayload and milotic um and a bunch of semi pseudos which are 575 based on total pokemon which will you know th those are uh, for a separate video that you can go check out but uh gigalith fits very well as one of the 600 base out total pseudos um it kind of needs the base out total because i want it to be a mixed attacker the reason it's a mixed attacker now is because if you read the pokedex entries uh sorry i can close that now actually i was I had this quote open to look on my notes and somebody messaged okay we're good so um if you read the pokedex entry you know it talks about uh how he shoots energy uh, beams from his internal core and he, he fires off attacks capable of blowing away mountains and he he's orange crystals magnify solar energy blah 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 um i wanted solar power on gigalith but frankly it's kind of not that good sadly uh, as awesome as it is um so i opted to give it to boldor and then like gigalith keep sandstream because losing sandstream would be a big loss for them um because even though they are pseudo, the Ola base that total points for the most part went to special attack and HP. But if you lost Sandstream, they would still be overall less bulky than they used to be, which is not, uh, which would be a shame. Uh, so I ended up giving Boldor solar power, which is a lot more fitting anyway. Not a lot more fitting, but a lot more like balanced because you can use Violet Boldor uh, in the sun and he can be absolutely tanky with energy shield uh, or very strong with solar power. And if you are new here, uh, I have tons of custom new abilities and custom new moves in this hack. Again, you can check out what those do in the description. Energy shield is essentially multi-scale. So um, it's even better in the sense that something like Mold Breaker can't bypass energy shield while uh, Mold Breaker does bypass multi-scale, for example, I believe. Um, so that's really, really powerful because, you, you, you know, with 110 HP and 130 HP, excuse me, 80 bulk, you are an absolute behemoth uh, uh, in terms of taking hits. You can easily swallow physical super effective hits for days. And then if you need to take a special hit, you can run Energy Shield or Sandstream. Uh, Sandstream, while it is incredible, uh, especially because you have the new move Sediment, which is rock type recover, or rock slash ground type recover, and that will give you two thirds HP in the sand. Um, in this ROM hack, not only do you have access to all types of tools like infinite usability capsules and infinite EV training, you also do not have access to healing items. So therefore, you're going to want to take advantage of stuff like rest, sleep, talk, and then every Pokemon has access to a reliable recovery move of some kind for the most part. Um, and in this case, it's sediment, and that's just really fucking solid. Uh, you get two-thirds HP in the sand uh, as Gigalith, and then of course as Boldor, is just for like regular old recover, essentially. Um, he also has Giga Drain and Strain, uh, sorry, and Parabolic Charge to heal himself for like Assault Vest sets or just for attacking sets. Those are also both great coverage moves. Um, Giga Drain might seem a little bit weird to you guys, but because he did move, learn moves like Solar Beam and because their whole vibe is like energy core, like if you read all the Pokemon entries for Boldor as well, like half of the entries talk about like its energy core and masses of energy and it's, it's one fragment of crystal would provide fuel for a hundred dump trucks and blah, 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 blah. And it, it, crystals glow and it fires off bursts of energy and all this really cool stuff so that's why i think well i don't think i know being a mixed attacker definitely fits their vibe um like very well actually but um for gigalith uh he loses solar power so boulder can technically much be much stronger than gigalith uh in terms of damage output in the sun you can also use weather ball so you have you know, Power Gem. Also, all the special rock moves. All rock moves in general are much better. All moves in general are much better, so definitely check those out. But specifically, the special rock moves. You have Ancient Power, which gives you plus one spin depth now, guaranteed. Um, you have Power Gem, which is just very strong, 90 base power, has a one in four chance to give special attack. And then you have Mineral Shower, which is a, a rock type version of Psycho Boost and Dravo Meteor. Uh, same goes for Rock Wrecker, which is physical, and Land's Wrath, which is ground type special. So those are all, those three are really great moves. Um, He's just, he's such a fucking unit. I mean, he's oh, unbelievably tanky with Sandstream and Energy Shield. That 110 HP, HP is based a lot more on size now, so I wanted to give Gigalith a nice size of HP boost. Um, they all have 10 base speed just because they are, they are some of the slowest Pokemon in the hack tied with like Snorlax and, um, 
Shuckle and stuff, just because like looking at them, Boldor could move relatively quickly in my opinion, but Rog and Roller, and especially Gigalith, could, should not be able to move very quickly at all. And they're already very slow, and I wanted more base to total points for HP, so you know, you take as you go. Um, in general, though, they're just they're incredible utility Pokemon, and they're just they're just great tanks. Uh, Pure Rock has been relatively is is, is known as is no oh my god, I can't speak English. Pure Rock <laughs> has been known to be a pretty mediocre defensive typing, um, but with the addition of Sediment and all of the new Sandstream Pokemon, uh, it's much better um, just to have that Pure Rock typing. Uh, there aren't that many in the hack. There's Regirock, Pseudo Wudo, Gigalith, and Nosepass, and I believe Gigalith was the last one, so there are not many Pure Rock types uh, in the hack. So, you know, it's pretty unique to be one. Uh, you don't have any four times weaknesses, which is nice. Not that four times weaknesses are bad. They are not bad at all, um, or at least people over overblow how bad they can be. But point being, you have all types of incredible coverage. Stuff like Aura Sphere makes sense. Again, if you read the Pokedex entries, talking about these energy core bursts and stuff. Um, so that fits really, really well as a TM, at least. Um, and you have stuff like Energy Ball. I mean, Energy, Energy Shield. That's the logic for Energy, energy Shield, by the way. Uh, you know, the crystals and the... And it literally just says, like, energy and stuff and, like, all of their index entries. So Energy Shield's pretty uh, flavor-wise. Uh, fits them pretty well. So that's awesome. Uh, great coverage, like I said, you got electric, grass, bug, fighting, steel, fairy. Your special coverage is a lot better than your physical coverage. However, you still have really good physical coverage, uh, or at least all the physical coverage you'll need with Edge Quake. Uh, not literally those two moves because all of the ground and rock moves are good now, but you know, what I mean is rock and ground coverage in conjunction with uh, Health Thrust, Zen Headbutt, and Takedown, and later on Superpower. So those are all pretty solid. And Iron Head. So those are all pretty solid nothing too insane but they're good enough uh, happy slam as well uh, but your special move pulls even better so special is definitely uh, a little bit better overall i was considering dropping special attack to like 120 ish and giving a little bit more hp and spdf but i like the equal uh, offenses overall i think it's pretty sick i mean he's just like just picturing him like firing off these wicked blasts of energy is just super sick i do wish i could have kept solar power on gigalith but sadly it wouldn't have been good enough um i've seen some hacks do like a rock electric type deal um, I think I might have, did I, I don't remember if I did that in Bear and Black. I think I might have for the first version and not for the second version, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, you know, energy doesn't equal electricity. Um, not to mention in this ROM hack, there is a Lolan Golem, of course, and I feel like he should just be the Rock Electric. And there's also another Rock Electric coming up eventually. Uh, so, you know, two is enough. I don't think Gigalith needs to be that. Not to mention you, oh no, you have the four times weakness. It's terrible. I'm kidding, obviously, but I, Otherwise, he's just a great, he's just a great Pokemon. I mean, the stats and the abilities and, and that sand stream with the set of men and the, the assault vest sets you could run with Giga Drain and Parabolic Charge are just insane. You don't even need to run bulk investment. I mean, obviously you're going to be running max HP, but like max HP and then max offense is all you need ever. Um, and then you can just go to town. Uh, you can also just run a purely defensive set as like a pivot type thing with like Bolt Switch. Bolt Switch is great on them. Um, on those AV sets especially, it's great. But in general, it's just really nice to have that. Uh, you know, all types of great utility moves. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna leave the video off there, frankly. I could touch on a couple other things like Z Lock-On, which gives you plus three special attack, which is pretty cool with Priority Shockwave, which is your only priority move. Um, as well as Counter and Mirror Coat, which work very well with both Sandstream and especially Energy Shield. So you can use that to take a uh, Take advantage of a lot of totem Pokemon and very strong Pokemon to just, you know, retaliate back with a powerful uh, counter and mirror coat. But yeah, uh, I'll leave the video off there. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hope you found it interesting and, uh, and entertaining and informative and all that good stuff. Uh, if you did, make sure you definitely subscribe to the channel. I am trying to hit 1K soon, so I would appreciate that. Uh, and hopefully you are, uh, hopefully you vibe with the, you know, awesome, bulky ass, strong ass pseudo Gigalith as much as I do. Gigalith is a super sick Pokemon. I actually low key prefer Boldor's design, but uh, both of them are sick. So yeah. Uh, thanks so much for listening, and um, I think that's really about it. I mean, I could quickly, briefly touch on the solar power buff because that the ability itself isn't changed, but sun in general is a lot easier to get up now because the heat rock gives you six turns as, as opposed to three. There's a lot of new drop Pokemon if you do want the instant sun, although just setting it up yourself is really good. And then you can like parting shot or volt switch or you turn into your bold lore, and then you'll have, say, you sunny day with heat rock, then you switch out with a switch move. You will have nine full turns to abuse with solar power, and you can heal up. Uh, with, you know, set amend and stuff and you know, Parabolic Charge or Giga Drain and you can just start firing off really powerful attacks as, long, as well as well, Weather Ball for fire type boosted uh, Weather Ball. So that's really, really fun. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for listening and I'll be back for a Pokemon soon. See y'all.